I'm your host, Shazad Contractor. Today's topic is Indian melodies. We have a very distinguished guest from the film and music industry from Bombay, India, Bahroz Chatterjee. Bahroz sings ghazals, geets, bhajans, and she sings in 21 languages. She sings for Hindi films and is now touring around the world. We are very fortunate to have her in our studio today. Bahroz, tell us about your life and how did you start your singing career? Well, Shazad, when I was a child, my mother tells me that uh, I started singing at the age of two and a half and I was playing harmonium also. This instrument is known as harmonium. So we had a very big harmonium in a house with the organ sort of a harmonium with the pedals, not like this. So I was a child of two and a half years. So my mother used to keep me on her lap. She used to do the pedaling and I used to play with both my hands. It was a very famous song, Mera Sundar Sapna Beed Gaya, sung by Gita Dutt. And I used to sing the whole song at that age. And people used to be amazed that how come a child of that age can sing and play together. Now when I perform, people tell me that your voice resembles Gita Dutt a lot. So that's how I That's started. very interesting. Uh, what is Sangeet Prabhakar? degree I mean uh, and who are your gurus in fact you had mentioned to me earlier about it yes Sangeet Prabhakar is a degree we get in Indian vocal classical music as we study the other faculties music also has a big what you call uh, like it has a course I see and we have to finish the whole course like graduation and post-graduation and this degree I got it after my marriage and then I started teaching in the school for eight years and um, my gurus are I first remember my first guru was Pandit Bhaiyaji Vazalwar I started at the age of five years he basically taught me all the classical grounding how to do the riyas, how to put the swar in right scales and of course I did my schooling with the music as a subject. In college of course there was no music in my college so I couldn't do graduation in music but then after marriage my husband became my guru so he taught me the later part. You were presented with Shiromani Award from the Government of India because of singing in 21 languages. Can you please tell our audience about this thing? Yes, uh, I sing in uh, 16 Indian languages which includes Sanskrit, Hindi, Marathi, Bengali, Gujarati, Punjabi, Kachi, Marwadi. How about English or any other yes, international? Yes, five, five international languages in English, Swahili, Hebrew, German and Italian. Oh, that's very interesting. But your name, Behroz Chatterjee, uh, puzzles with your name. Can you please let us know because it's... Uh yeah, everyone tells me that. Uh, I'm a born Parsi. Parsi is a religion, Zoroastrian, and it's a Persian name. Behroz means the best day. And uh, I married a Hindu. My husband is Sapan Kumar Chatterjee. So that's how I got his surname. So Behroz and Chatterjee. Can you tell us about your family, about your children? Yes. Are they interested in the music also? Or they oh are yes. My son Anupam, like me, he started playing tabla at the age of two and a half. He's a student of uh, Ustada Larakha and Zakir Hussain. He plays almost all instruments now. He sings too. My daughter also sings. So very rarely people have seen a whole family performing together on the stage and we are one of them. I'm proud to be. <laughs> I heard he, he's also playing for Indian uh, film yes. industry as a yes, composing. Very interesting. Yeah, he wants to become a composer. Well, Barrows, you have traveled all over the world as you mentioned to me earlier. I mean, uh, can you tell us where, which countries have you performed and where you've been more popular? 
and uh, why you were, you know, popular in those countries? Uh, I, my first tour abroad was in 1969. We went, me and my husband both went to Hong Kong and Bangkok in the east. Then I started traveling to the west. In America, this is my sixth tour. tour. In England, I've made three. Dubai, Belgium, and uh, West Indies, and uh, East Africa. So I've traveled, toured in 14, 15 countries. You've been also performing in North America recently. Which mm -hmm. cities or states have you been performing on this special trip you made to the United States and Canada? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, in Canada, I performed in states. I've given programs in Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Chicago, North and South Carolina, Florida, in the West, California, Dallas, San Antonio. I know everywhere. that you also performed in Miami on the January 31st. Yes, I did. Uh, that was a very interesting program. People really enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, as I mentioned in my opening that you are a ghazal, geet and bhajan singer. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell our audience a little bit about what is ghazals or what is bhajans in fact so that uh, yeah. they are aware of what we are talking about? <laughs> ghazals are uh, love songs mainly. They are couplets and the theme of the ghazal is always love and a lost love in fact. Those who are Th those who have lost in love. And uh, bhajans are devotional songs, more towards the devotion of God or devotion of the country. And Geet, of course, I've sung in the films. They are light. Very interesting. Uh, besides singing, uh, do you play any instruments? Yes, I know I you do play harmonium, but any other instruments like Yes, uh, I play harmonium, tabla, piano. Sitar I've learned, though I don't play it, but I know sitar. Can you do some uh, demonstration or sing a few lines for our audience uh, on the harmonium, which is a beautiful instrument from India? Uh, it will be really interesting to hear that from you, if you don't mind. Sure. Well, it will be a pleasure to. Now, this is called a harmonium. It has uh, three octaves. And uh, here, this special harmonium has a scale change. Mm. What we normally we singers use this. Well, basically, what does it do is change the scale. It changes the scale. Changes the scale. It makes, uh, yeah, it makes oh, us, it's easier to play. Play, I see. If you are used to playing with this C sharp, I see. and if you want to go higher, you just put it oh, higher that's and you can play, yeah, uh, you can play with C sharp. Such as small instruments can have those type of uh, yes. gadgets. That's very interesting. Yes, on that. this is very good. Can you play some few lines or sing for her live for her All right. audience? I think that they'll love it. And what would I sing? A ghazal or well, a ghazal or poetry or you know anything. I I, I I think so. I know that you mentioned to me you also write uh, <laughs> songs and uh, that's very interesting. And if you can let our audience know that uh, some of your poetry you have written or. Something very interesting. Let's, okay, let's see. I'll, I'll sing a ghazal, not okay. written by me, but okay. I'll read out my poetry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I've not tuned them. Right. I have tuned them, but those are, you know, the disco numbers. I see. <coughs> this is a ghazal of uh, Jigar Muradabadi. That's very nice. Can you uh, sing some uh, international language we were talking about? I don't know, it's a, it's a different instrument. <laughs> it will be very difficult. I know those international uh, songs are basically on Western mu instruments. Uh, instruments. Yes. But let's see if we can me you make East and West <laughs> and if we can perform All right, let uh, just a few lines for our audience, see All right. an English song or, you know. 
See now I'm changing the scale because that was low for me. I see. <coughs> this is a Hebrew language song sung in Israel. It's a very popular song. You might have heard it, but I like it. Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Ve Mismucha Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Hava Nagila Ve Mismucha Hava Naranana Hava Naranana Hava Naranana Ve Mismucha Beautiful. I think so. It's such a beautiful voice, melodious voice you have, and with the orchestration, I definitely know yeah, that the it will sound. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, well, I mean, I, I really appreciate you demonstrating uh, the instrument and singing for our audience. Uh, we'll get into some other questions I have in mind. Mm -hmm. That you have been labeled a versatile singer. I mean, uh, you sing in anything, uh, do anything. I mean, can you just explain? Because uh, what do you mean by when you were labeled as a versatile singer? Yes, normally in India what uh, people, they just take one style of singing and concentrate on that. For Excuse example, me, by the way, uh, before we get into that, I would like uh, my audience to see uh, one of the live performance Behro's performed in Miami on January 31st, 1994. And I, I hope you will enjoy her live performance.
Friends, you are listening to one of the Behros, her own song she sang in the film industry in India. Behros, it was really interesting and uh, I hope uh, the audience really enjoyed it. And I remember attending that program, it was one of the best program I ever attended. Mm -hmm. And Thank people you. really enjoyed it, that. Thank you. But I'd like to know that how did you get into this uh, film industry and singing for films? I mean. Because you were a ghazal singer, now you're also singing for India films. Yeah, I, in fact, to be a playback singer was my childhood dream. Because that time I didn't know what ghazals are. So, I wanted to become a playback singer. So when I, I used to sing only film songs, till I met my second guru, my husband, Sapan Kumar. I saw him performing on the stage and singing ghazals and I was very impressed. I said, what kind of a singing is this? And I walked up to him, I said, I want to learn what you're singing. And he started teaching me and then I started singing ghazals much later. And uh, of course, film songs were always there in my back of my mind. So when I came to Bombay, I was not living in Bombay at that time. So when I came to Bombay, I, I met a music director who was a college student with me in Nagpur where I did my college education. So he had become a music director. So he at once recognized me. He says, are you interested in singing for films? And naturally that was what I wanted. So that's how he took me in his first film, Tumhari Bina. Let me, let me, let me interrupt you. You're, when you are, let, let's tell our audience that when you're saying uh, guzzles and then films, basically when you're singing for film songs, how does it picture rises in the film songs? I mean, in the in the film. I mean, can you tell us about it? That are the uh, the uh, stars they sing themselves, or your background? Can you just uh, yeah. elaborate on that uh, topic? Right? In the olden times, uh, singers like Suraya and Noor Jahan they used to sing their own songs, but now normally no one does that. And uh, so basically, what you do is you sing in the background, yes. and uh, we and record the, the whole song, and they shoot on that song. I see. That's very interesting. For example, this Koi Baat Nahi song which you, this from the film called Koi Baat Nahi. And I have sung this song. The film is yet to be released. The music director is... What is the name of the film? Koi Baat Nahi. Koi Baat Nahi. Doesn't matter. I see. <laughs> <laughs> they have, you know, that did the that's English version also. That's very interesting. Yeah. The music director is Tushar Bhatia. He's a new director and he's doing very well. How many films uh, have you given playback? Uh, about seven, eight films I've sung for. That's very interesting. Bezuban. So I, do you Lela. plan to change your uh, no. basically from guzzles to never. films because uh, it's two different industries guzzles, you're talking about. Guzzles are my first love. I see. Very good. Uh, earlier, before we uh, interrupted you, reference to that you were labeled as a versatile singer, mm -hmm. uh, and we just had to break because we wanted to show our audience a live uh, a cassette of which you performed. Can you get back to that question yes. again, please? Mm -hmm. See, in India, when a singer wants to take up singing as a profession, he takes one particular style. For example, if he's a classical singer, he'll just concentrate on classical singing. If he's a ghazal singer, he'll sing only ghazals and nothing else. If he's a film, he or she film playback singer, she'll sing for films only. But I like to sing everything. You mean entertaining uh, different uh, people uh, no, who likes... No, entertaining is a second... Part. I, I myself enjoy singing, enjoy singing ghazals as well as film songs and bhajans and folk songs and classical. I like every kind of music. So if and if I can sing, why not? Why not? People they don't sing because they feel that in their voice they, it doesn't suit. But people tell me that everything suits. When I when I give bhajan program, they say you just sing bhajans and nothing else. When I sing ghazals, they say oh you are very good in ghazals. You just sing ghazals and nothing else. But well, I want to sing everything. That's interesting, really, to uh, for a singer, a female singer like you, performing in different languages, singing different types of uh, uh, sets. And mm -hmm. uh, there is a difference between film singing and a stage singing. Uh, do you find anything different? Uh, oh, yes. I enjoy singing on the stage because the response is right then and there. You get the public response immediately. Whereas studio singing for the films, it's a very boring affair. It continues for hours together. Sometimes when people, other people make mistake, we have to cut and do it again. I see. Though, of course, with the orchestra, the singing is different. You feel elevated. 
Well, getting to a point that uh, you are yourself a film and a playback singer, uh, is there any particular male or female playback singer in India which you really like and who has inspired you, basically? Oh, yes. When I was a child, I was very much inspired by Lata Mangeshkar. I'm still her Can fan. Can you tell our audience who's Lata Mangeshkar? <laughs> She's the greatest <laughs> of our country. Just I like think, in I America, we have uh, uh, like uh, Diana Ross yes. or something like a very popular. Very popular, but she's uh, the singer. I see. She's the best. Others are nowhere near her, including myself. And uh, male singer, there was a singer called Muhammad Rafi who is no more. I used to like his singing. And in Ghazals, my Ustad, my Guru, Mehdi Hassan, I'm his ardent fan. I like his Ghazals very much. That's I like his style. And bhajans, of course, Anup Jalota has inspired me a lot. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, like, uh, you have been coming mostly to North America almost every year. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there any reason? I mean, because people would love to have you back and back. Yes, I get a very good audience. And uh, people are very f responsive. They like to hear me again and again. I would like you to, if there's any memorable experience you can share with our listeners uh, during your trip here or during your performance. Yes, there was a experience I had about two, three years ago in New Orleans when I was singing a song, you must be knowing that song, Chitti Hai. Yes, that was a and very emotional yes, song. Yes, very emotional song and uh, it's about how a person in foreign country longs to be back in his own country. So, that song when I was singing, I could see audience crying right in front of me and seeing them cry, I started crying on the stage. So, <laughs> that was quite funny. But that was a real experience for me. Well, Barrows, it's really, I think so. Uh, I have enjoyed it, and I know my audience have enjoyed you today. And thank you for coming uh, to our studio and entertaining our audience.